Hi friends, today in Osha's kitchen, I'm going to show how to make very tasty vegetable kurma. Let's begin. First, I'm going to make fine paste of one teaspoon fennel seeds, half teaspoon poppy seeds, one fourth teaspoon jeera, and one tablespoon putna or dry Bengal gram, and five green chilies, and one fourth cup of grated coconut. You can add ginger garlic also along with it, but I'm going to use ginger garlic paste. So I'm going to use two tablespoon of ginger garlic paste. Okay, keep a pressure pan on the stove and add three tablespoon of any oil. Let it warm. Okay, add just one piece of cinnamon stick and three cloves and little bit of black stone flour and two bay leaves. And this one is a fresh bay leaf my friend gave me. So add that. Okay, add one onion. Just cut it into length wise and let it fry. Add two tablespoon of ginger garlic paste. Add one teaspoon of salt now, and then we can add later. And add one wine tomato. Cut it into length wise and fry this. Okay, add half cup cut beans and half cup carrot. And I'm using one cup of green peas. I like green peas flavor a lot. Okay, little bit of cauliflower and one potato. And fry this for a few minutes. Okay, add one fourth teaspoon of turmeric powder. And then add the paste. And fry this one until little bit of the raw smell goes away. Now add one and a half to two cups of water and this time you can check your salt also and if you want you can add more. I have added another half teaspoon salt. Now I am going to pressure cook for one whistle. Okay, kurma is ready now. Add chopped mint leaves and coriander leaves. Little bit. Okay, yummy vegetable kurma is ready. You can eat with chapati, parotta, naan, tortillas. The very first time when I made video, I called my friend. I said that I am making a cooking video. Then immediately she said that she is going to wait for my kurma recipe. Hi friend, this kurma recipe is for you. Try it. Enjoy. Thanks for watching.